my last video I set up 12 of these sensors to record data to an SD card. I've left them for 8 days and gathered 22,900 sets of readings for the sensors. Unfortunately I only got 11 sensors data as something went wrong with my code and didn't quite capture the 12th. I converted the text file to a CSV file and then imported it into Excel. I created graphs to show each of the temperature and humidity's 11 sensor readings over time. I also calculated the minimum, average, maximum and variance for each set of data readings. The first graph shows the 11 sensors readings. There seems to be 3 to 4 degrees of difference over the sensors over time. You can also see that the sensors track well over time. The second graph shows the sensors humidity over time. It appears to be quite erratic. There is some vague consistency, but it's possible that the bottom line is a sensor that's failed. When looking at the average temperatures, we can see that the minimum and maximum follow, and there is a nice average trend between them. The variance shown at the bottom also appears quite steady over time. The humidity data shows a wide range between its minimum and maximum, and also has an unstable variance. Overall, these cheap sensors are not ideal for critical applications, but give a good indication of temperature rises and falls. I don't think the humidity is very good on these sensors at all. In the future I'm going to try some thermistors and also some photoresistors, as well as some other sensors such as this soil moisture sensor. Please let me know what you think of these sensors in the comments below. I'll put links to the graphs and the data in the video description. As always, thanks for watching.